You guys, Tom is back with another Linsen's video. Today we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, the Amir lineup. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me in the bathroom right now as we speak, I'm sitting on that toilet. Maybe you're just sitting on there just just to sit. Who knows? I don't know what you're doing in there. However and wherever you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Sometimes the best, the best, best ideas come from sitting on that toilet. So if you are sitting on the toilet and you got an idea for me or something, please let me have it down in the comments below. But anyways, Paris Corner, the Amir lineup. Paris Corner is pretty much, I think, their own thing, okay? I don't think it's Latof, I don't think it's Ajma, I don't think it's Afnan, Armof, I don't think, I think Paris Corner is pretty much their own thing. I think their Fragrance World is part of them too, maybe, I'm not sure, but the Emir lineup, you guys know I've done a few on the Emir lineup, um, especially the, the Santals, we got that one, we have Warm Leather, we have uh, Just Citrus and all that other stuff, I don't know what the hell they're called. Anyways, I got this one sitting in front of me, and honestly, I see that uh, some people are saying it's like a clone of Aqua de Parma's Colonia Oud with a little bit of a twist. Never smelt it, so I can't tell you what this is, okay? All I'm going to do is let you know what I think of it when I'm smelling it. I'm going to let you know if I think it's worthy of your money. Now, with that being said, this one was, I believe, $36 from... Uh, fragrancebuy.ca again fragrancebuy.ca when it comes to sometimes finding the best deal on some of these Middle Eastern sometimes they have the best deal so don't be afraid to check fragrancebuy.ca for your Middle Easterns now I know I brag about the Ebays and stuff like that as well but definitely go check out fragrancebuy.ca as well sometimes they have very good deals on these so that being said, let's finally get into this. This one is from the Celestial series, and it's called Resurrection Celestial. I think I'm saying that correctly. Celestial series? I don't know. I think I'm saying that correctly, though. But this is an Extract de Parfum. So we're looking at probably anywhere above 25% of oil concentrations. 3.4 ounce or 100 ml for you guys that like the ml better. So... The back we do got that little sticker, hologram sticker. It's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Like for especially for this box. Usually when you get these cool plastic box, um, it's really heavy, but this is kind of light. So um hopefully the bottle isn't like super duper cheap. Now I know it has like some kind of weird animal at the top, but here we go. We're gonna open it up from the top. And boom, sitting sideways. Like Paul Wall, OG Paul Wall sitting sideways. Um, birdie was flying off a little bit, but there you go. That is what we are talking about. I'm not sure if that's an eagle, a hawk. That could be a seagull for all I know. I don't know, but it is a bird. That's all I know. There it is. Resurrection, the Amir lineup. Yeah, the bottle isn't as heavy as I thought it would be. It's kind of, you know, for the bottle looking like this, it's actually kind of light in my opinion, but cap has uh, got a nice little weight, not too heavy. Overall, I'm kind of disappointed in this bottle. It looks nice from far away, but then it's not that heavy. It's kind of light. The cap is kind of feels flimsy. So uh, disappointed with that. But, you know, if you're looking at it from far away, you're not really caring about that. It looks pretty dope. It looks almost like a bowling trophy or something like that. I don't know. Maybe a hunting trophy. But there it is. The, celent the Celestial Resurrection. So here we go. Let's spray it and see what it's all about. Again, all that matters is what it smells like. Okay? It doesn't matter if it smells exactly like something or close to it. All that matters is if it smells good, you like the way it smells. Okay, Again, if you have a huge collection, you'll probably find similarities in this cologne than something else. Okay, So, I mean, occasionally you'll get one of those clones where you're like, man, I have nothing that smells like this. And I have a couple of those. That's why I don't compare. Because you know, Sometimes when you get those, you just can't compare anyways. But here we go. Spray that resurrection ood. Definitely getting that kind of 
oud in the air, that kind of either leathery and sometimes woody, that, that kind of scent that oud can kind of come off as, as woody and leathery. Hmm. That is a bright oud, though. It's it's a bright. It's got a little bit of citrus. It's bright. There's got to be some musk in here. I'm not too crazy about this one. And I think a lot of other people might like this one, though. Um, it kind of comes off. It's got this bright, musky, almost kind of woody, leathery smell or something like that. But it kind of almost smells just like, smells almost like hand soap, if you will. Some kind of hand soap, like the, you know, not like the, the cool flavored soaps, like just the basic blue soap that has no name. It just says soap. It says antibacterial. It says good for COVID and all this other stuff. It just says soap. It doesn't have the cool lemons and the cool grapes and cool kiwis in it. It just says soap, hand cleansing soap with just a little bit of, like I said, that leathery kind of woody oud smell that you get from a oud style fragrance, especially if this is a clone of Colonia oud, oud Colonia, whatever it is, okay, with a twist, okay? Now that could be what it is, that oud, that woody leathery with that kind of Fresh, clean, soapy. That could be that twist that they're talking about, okay? Again, I haven't smelled Colonia Oud, so I can't tell you what it smells like. So, I'm assuming Colonia Oud smells kind of like that leathery, that woody kind of outdoorsy smell, okay? And then that twist that some people are talking about. Well, not some people, but that's what FragranceBuy.ca says. It's kind of like a Oud twist. I'm thinking the twist comes from that smell, like that soap, that clean, fresh smell, okay? Kind of got a little bit of maybe like these watery notes in the background. You know what? Just go based off of my description, what I'm describing, okay? Because, man, I was really thinking... This fragrance, when I first sprayed it, I was like, man, this is just going to just blow me away. Just make me say yes, yes, yes. I really thought that just by looking at this bottle, the presentation, and everything. Now, again, it was kind of light. A few parish corners, especially in the mirror lineup, have been pretty good, especially the warm leather, the Santel. I like that one as well. Um, the one that's the... Uh, the campfire if you will which is very nice that butterscotchy woody smell but this one i am kind of disappointed in and uh again not because it's you know it's something similar to other things okay it's you know it smells different enough you get that oud and you get that soapy clean smell it smells different than the other ouds that i got okay other ouds are kind of you got that wood that kind of leathery kind of got rosy florals and stuff this one is kind of good because it goes in that fresh route, but it's honestly just not enough to wow me. And maybe, you know, maybe a couple of wears down the line, maybe I will enjoy this. Maybe when I get outdoors and maybe some kind of other elements work along with me, it will work great. Now, I feel like this would be good in a, like a special occasion with that oud, that leathery, that woody smell with that nice fresh, like you can wear this at a nice wedding. Maybe you can just go uh, enjoy a nice beverage downtown during the daytime. This is a daytime style fragrance. I don't think this is a nighttime fragrance. But I would tell you, unless if you just want this to have that cool little birdie on the top, and I don't know why you'd want this birdie because, again, it doesn't look uh, mean enough to be an eagle. So I think this could just, this might even be a crow. I don't know. Crows usually eat junk off the streets. I'm not saying that this fragrance is junk. I'm just saying it's not an eagle on top of there, okay? That is not an eagle. 
that is uh, maybe a falcon, maybe a hawk. Now, hawks don't eat junk, but that could very well be a raven. It could be a crow. It could be, uh, again, it could be a pigeon. I don't know. But I am not overly impressed with this fragrance. This is just a, meh. okay, fragrance. Nothing too much. It's not bad. It's not a stinky fragrance. It's not something that just reeks. It's just not doing enough for me. So, with that being said, I don't know if the wife can smell it. She's kind of hiding behind that couch. You might see her uh, hand like a hermit crab. There you go. And now uh, she's back into the shell. Uh, can you smell that at all? She cannot. So, it's not... Uh, I wouldn't say it's not strong, though, because I can smell it. Maybe she's just a little bit too far out of reach for this one. But um, maybe if I spray a little bit that way, she can smell it. What do you think? Of it? Giving her a little spray that way. I'm not sure if she can smell it. There she is. You smell it? She still can't smell it. Uh, I can smell it. Uh, hopefully she doesn't have that vid, uh, if you will. Again, this is oody. It's kind of leathery and woody. Kind of gives you that kind of leathery, woody, kind of rosy smell. But then you mix that with this little bit of freshness that gives that, again, that musky kind of maybe slightly citrusy. Kind of got, again, kind of got this little bit of aquatic notes, this, these watery marine notes in the background. But again, it kind of smells soapy, like some nice, uh, again, hand soap. Now, when I say nice, I don't know what the heck nice hand soap would be because unless you're washing your hands with Tom Ford's Neroli soap, I don't know what nice hand soap would be. So with that being said, I am going to tell you guys to pass on this one. Unless you really just got to have this thing, then this one is a no for me. Now, again... This is first impressions, and I'm saying no. It's not so bad where I don't want to try to give this another try because there are some fragrances that are just so bad you don't want to give it another try. Doesn't matter what the situation, no matter what, you just don't want to give them another try. I will definitely give this one another try in a different situation. We'll try this maybe outdoors or something like that, maybe in the next few weeks or so, and then we'll get back to it. But for right now, as far as first impressions, I am not impressed. So with that being said, you take it for what it is. I am going to get up out of here. Oh, she's snapping. She smells it now. Oh, I think she's yelling at the dog. The dog is getting the snaps, not me this time. But anyways, I'm getting up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.